Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. I'm so happy you're here. I'm Tiffany, and if you like seeing everything farmhouse, thrift flips, um, just some Dollar Tree creations, then stick around. I hope you enjoy what you see. I have a great fall video for you to start out the season. Um, I will be getting into some Halloween ones, hopefully. Um, I am kind of booked up, I think, this next week, so I don't know if I'll have a Saturday video for you. My house is a complete disaster from us having the garage sale this last weekend and I have to pack up all the stuff in the garage. And then a week from this weekend, I'm gonna be um, in Pioneer Days in Perm, Minnesota. So if you guys are locals, definitely stop by. I will try my darndest to maybe do a live to show you exactly what's going on. Um, I'm not promising anything because I've never actually done a live before, so you gotta bear with me. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I just got a lot of stuff that I need to get done. My craft room is a complete disaster. My house is filled with tubs from upstairs and stuff when I was going through to get garage sale stuff, and it just kind of accumulated and I haven't had a chance to clean it up yet because of everything going on and I was gonna try to get you out a last video Saturday but I was just so exhausted after the weekend and getting everything set up for this last week and everything it just didn't happen but I am excited to start off fall for you guys and I hope you enjoy what you see um, and if you like what you see, stick around to give me a thumbs up down there and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Um, share this video with some friends and family if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps, guys, and I would greatly appreciate it. Then now let's get into those DIYs. DIY number one. So this one is a... One of those foam pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now let me know, guys, if you've ever seen them in the black. I got these last year, but I only found... I found several of them, but I only um, found them in one Dollar Tree. I've never actually seen the black ones until last year. So let me know if you've ever seen those. I've, I mean, I've had these in my stash for a good while, but... I really like the idea of the black ones because when you're doing stuff like this... You're going to wrap it around. It's very easy because you don't have to repaint it and you can't really see it if it's black. But anyway, I grabbed one of these Dollar Tree um, mop heads and I just cut that little plastic piece on there. And I'm going to flip this pumpkin upside down and I'm going to wrap it all the way around this little pumpkin. This took me quite a while. This is one of those DIYs where... You want to get comfy and um, get you something to drink, watch a movie, listen to a book, whatever. This took me over an hour to do, so this did take me a little while. I really like how the final project turned out though. This is probably one of my favorites. And here shortly I'm going to be showing you, I, I was getting it a little off, like right here is where I'm going to be showing you, but um, it was starting to um, have spots where it was uh, I don't know where it was not even and I didn't want to have that when I got up to the top so it was what I did is I cut it 
and then I went over that one little section again with another row and then just started continuing it from there to try to get it to even out. And it seemed to work. I just didn't want it to be, I don't know, funky when you get up to the top of it. I wanted it to be, you know, you ended it in the middle where it's supposed to be. So that's the reason why I did that. But I wanted to show you how I fixed it. I think I actually did that a couple times on this. Now here I grabbed my X-Acto knife and I cut a hole in the top of it before I got too far into wrapping up this uh, mop head. Um, so I cut a hole in it and then I grabbed a uh, wine cork and I used that for the stem, which I thought gave it a lot more character. I could have went out to my yard and found some sticks too, but for some reason my Dollar Tree is lagging on giving us the stems. I've gotten them one year since I started crafting and now I can't find them in my Dollar Tree around me. So, But I do got a lot of wine corks and they do work. I do have stems outside I can go get. so. And then I grab my heat gun and I'm just going around it, trying to get rid of all of the little glue webs that are around it. And then once I got that done, I grab some of this garland. I actually folded it up twice and I just wrapped it around, glued down in front and glued down in back just to get it to stick good. I thought the red and orange with the gray and white looked really cute together. So I'm just grabbing a paintbrush and just kind of twirling it around there. And then I decided it needed a leaf, so I grabbed one of these leaves. Honestly, it kind of looks like an apple leaf, but it works. DIY number two. So here I grab one of these Dollar Tree crates and I go in with my um, pumpkin by Waverly and I make sure you get inside the little grooves and everything. I'm just kind of taking my time going along here, getting inside the grooves, getting all the corners. I promise I don't show all of this. I mean, you guys kind of know the gist of painting. Once it's painted all the way inside and out, um, I go in with some Waverly Antique Wax. And I just use the same paintbrush. But I'm just going along the edges and just trying to dirty it up a little bit just to stress it a little try to give it a little more character I actually really love how this one turned out I think this one's probably my top favorite and it's the, one of the easiest ones to do sadly um, I did find these at Dollar Tree. 
they're just like they're little tiny circle ones. They don't have much, uh, much to them. But I thought if I'd stack three of them, that kind of looked similar in size, that maybe it would work. It doesn't look too bad. So I decided I was going to glue those three together. And then I go in with a couple more of these leaves and glue them down in front. And then I do grab some more of these berry picks. This one I actually went in with some green and white instead of the red and orange. <coughs> Pardon me. DIY number three. So I take one of these um, they're actually a hanger from Dollar Tree and right now I'm just picking out a bunch of uh, scrapbook paper that I like. I really like the pumpkins. I don't even think I used that one. I end up peeling that one out, but I don't use the top pumpkin one there that I had. So then I turn this little pumpkin around on top of the scrapbook paper, and I'm just tracing out little slats that I wanted those scrapbook paper to cover. And then I'll go around and cut them. I don't show this, but I basically just trace all of all of them and then cut them out. And then I peeled up that metal piece that was on here and the glue. It was I don't know, they didn't measure it very well, so it was it wasn't even lining up right on there, so I just peeled it up. And then I grab my glue stick and I just glue these colors and it's basically a scrapbook paper that I like that I had kind of traced out for them and glue them down where I want them to be. And once that's all done, I do take a um, finger sander and I just sand down all the extra. And then I grab one of these harvest signs that you can get from Dollar Tree in the pack of three. I think it was harvest, blessed, and welcome that are usually in there. Or maybe harvest, thankful, and, and welcome or something like that. But I decided I was going to glue that right down to the middle. And then I wanted to cover up that stem. I don't really, I didn't really like the brown. So I started wrapping it with some jute twine. I started gluing it in the, on the bottom first. And then I was having some issues with it not rolling up on me, but I eventually get it. And 
And once it got up to the curved spot up on the top, it was getting a little bit harder again, so I grabbed my glue, glue gun again and finished it off. And then I do go and grab some more of those um, green and white berries I just kind of wrap them up on the top. I do glue the back of them. But... And I decided it needed a bow, so I grabbed some of this um, kind of burlap jute ribbon that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I just basically put it in an awareness bow and tie it off. And then just glue that right down on the bottom of the stem. And that's it, guys. DIY number four. This one's pretty easy too. Um, I got a bunch of these from a garage sale in a box. And I saw um, one other person do this. I was actually planning on doing this because I had them in my stash and then I saw that she did it. So she beat me to it so I will definitely give her credit for it um, I believe it was uh, I believe it was Liz Moore I believe now I'm kinda second guessing myself but they're really easy to do and I'm sure there's been several other people that have done them so always give credit where credit is due guys Make sure that you're tying this tight. I basically just line them up and put a piece of jute twine through the middle of them. And then you make sure that you tie them really tight. But mine, for some reason, ended up loosening up on me. And I had to unloosen it because it just was too loose. So make sure they're tight when you tighten them up. But this is probably one of the simpler ones. very easy project. Now before I tightened it too tight I did grab another one of those um, wine corks and I stuck it down in the middle and it actually makes it a little bit tighter too so you guys know it kind of fans them out a little bit more. I put a healthy coat of glue on there and just stuck it right down onto the metal. And then I went in again with lots of glue all the way around that wine cork to give it another really healthy coat. I think it go in here a couple of times to be honest with you. Here I go again with it. Now, the person that I saw, the DIYer, that did this beforehand, actually went out and painted it orange, and I was going to, but I actually really liked how this looked the way it was. Um, some of my uh, rings were kind of, had kind of a ru uh, rusty look to them, and they were old looking, so I actually really liked that look. So I actually left them this color and then I just wrapped some more of that ribbon around it to kind of hide the hot glue and then added a couple more. It kind of looks like, like ivy or vines that would be growing out of it or something. 
It's kind of what I was going for. And there you have it. DIY number five. So here, going off with the canning theme, I got some of these canning lids. And I first go over top of them, all three of them, with some uh, Mod Podge just to um, make it easier for the paint to stick. Kind of go with a lighter coat though. Some of these got a little heavy handed and they bubbled up with me when I got it too hot. It actually made it more uh, more cool though because it, with it bubbling up so I kind of had a pattern on my um, pumpkins and you know how those pumpkins that have like the warts and stuff on them like the growths which I thought that's what that looked like it kind of had some bubbles around the edges and stuff I actually thought it looked really cool so I'm it was a happy mistake I'm really glad I did it um, but anyway I go in and paint these with my pumpkin color in Waverly and I probably coated these like four four and a half times trying to cover up that writing and the graphic on the on them and uh, yeah and then once they are dry I line them up if you haven't told already, guys, that we're doing another pumpkin. If you guys can't tell, we're doing another pumpkin. If I can talk right. And then I just glue the two back ones together, and then I glue this one right on top. And then I'll grab some a couple of tumbling tower blocks and a popsicle stick I cut the popsicle stick I actually cut it twice because this is actually way too long than I wanted it's gonna be my stem I just kinda glue it right down to the top right there and then I glue my two tumbling tower blocks together and then glue them to the thing. Now what's strange is that this actually sits up at the beginning, like right here. But once I added my little bow on and my leaves, which I'm going to be adding here really shortly, it doesn't sit up anymore. And there's no way that that would have made it heavier on top so I was really confused but I got it to work out anyway so it doesn't matter but I just thought it was strange so I got some of these little tiny fall leaves and I kinda do show you the package a little bit but I do believe them got them at Hobby Lobby like a couple of years ago I actually used these in my wedding I had a fall wedding and I had two packs of these and I used them for um, for my little um, flower girl to throw so instead of the flowers but I glue them down I glue a little bow down and then I grab a couple more of these little berry picks and just wrap it around the stem and I kind of curl them a little bit As you can see, I was trying to get it to stand and it wasn't standing. So I do peel it off and I try readjusting it. It still wasn't working. So I grabbed another tower, tumb tumbling tower block. And I glue it to the bottom of those two kind of show you here in a minute like that yeah 
And that's it, guys. Here comes the final reveal. I hope you enjoyed what you see. And it's going to be a start of fall. Many videos to come. I hope you guys stick around and like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all the kindness that you guys have shown me. So far, it's been fantastic. I cannot ask for better subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much, and God bless. See you in the next video. Bye!